Yeah, well, this probably, um, I got to it, back in the 1920s, well, first of all, the property was founded in the late 1700s. And the original family farmed it, and they owned land all over the place. And then eventually they built a big farmhouse in the late um, 1800s somewhere. Big, big, huge farmhouse. And then uh, from there, it, it stayed in the family until 19, well, in 1945, the, the, the property, the, the main house burned down along with the connected barn. It was a huge barn. And they rebuilt it in 1945. Same family still stayed in it. And then in the late 1950s, the last family member died off. And then um, it stayed vacant for many years. And then my wife and I got it. Back in the 1920s and 30s, 1920s and 30s, there used to be a gas station here. And, um, and the pumps are sitting in front of the store where the, um, it was a general store there. So they sold gasoline and they sold, uh, you know, regular general store stuff. And, um, and I said, that closed down in, in the late 1930s, early, I think about 1940 or 41, whatever, it shut down. And it stayed closed like that. And then my wife and I, where we got, she had the problem before I did. And when I met her, we got married and I moved in. And then what we, I said to her, I want to do a whole makeover on it. She said, well, go for it. So I, that's all I'm doing. I had the paint job done. I had the awnings put in, the flower boxes. I did it all. And I got those, I got the, um, the pumps from out of Virginia. I got to restore them. And I bought those. And I had a Norton. I had a Norton service bell installed. When you drive over it, the bell goes off. Ding, 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 ding. And I, I take all that down in the fall. And I put it away for the winter. And I put it in back up uh, mid-spring somewhere. Champlain and, and uh, 
It was a four winds, uh, 195 sundowner, so it was, it was actually turned out to be kind of small for that lake. But you know, I threw about 100 pounds of sand in that uh, board compartment and kind of tamed the, the porpoise in and whatnot, and it, it, it made it tolerable, and I had a lot of fun out there on that thing. Uh, but when, when we got married and started having kids, I got rid of that stuff, and then later on in life, we both got into motorcycles, and now that's what we do. We ride our bikes. Oh, that's nice. So you ride all over the country? No, no, but actually from, from uh, we used to do our hiking trips. We, we went out to, uh, we go out to Maine a couple times. We went to, uh, I, I wish I could remember the uh, the lodge. Went out to a lodge in the middle of nowhere once and had a good time out there. It was really nice. There wasn't much to do except just enjoy nature. It was fun, though. But, but one of the better ones, we went out to Bar Harbor, and uh, there was this, uh, this uh, it was only like, a, like a, um, you know, a two-seater aircraft. And you sit in it like this biplane thing, and uh, you know it was it was really affordable. And you know we cruised around the harbor. They showed us like the fish farms. Uh, it was like one. Of, it was definitely the highlight of that. It was really cool. Yeah, we lived three and a half hours north of Bar Harbor. Yeah, we're really familiar with Bar Harbor. That's a nice place. Yeah, we had a good time there. We were gonna go back, and then we moved. <laughs> so uh, we, you know, we don't we haven't really done any really long. Canada, that's enough for us. 